Shalom, it's Brother Matazal. About to do another lesson. The lesson is the work is to gather the sheep, the lost sheep of Israel. Uh, before I open up, I want to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh and Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. And uh, peace and salutations to you, Akim, out there that's laboring in this truth and truth and sincerity. All right, we're just going to jump right into it. We start in the book of um, Matthews uh, 10, verse, I think it's 5. He says there, it's like these 12, Yahweh Shai sent forth and, and commanded them saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles and into any city of the Samaritans, enter ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And basically, in fact, let me read down even more. No, let me break this down. He said, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And right now, uh, the lost sheep of Israel are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. They are the lost sheep. They they are, are being called by these different nationalities. The so-called white men, you know, gave them so-called Mexicans, uh, Puerto Ricans, and so-called uh, 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 basically all of these different Latin tribes' names and the so-called Negro, so-called Haitian, so-called West Indies. You know, these are all the names that they they have been put up under. You know, what I'm saying uh, to uh, basically have them lost today of who they really are. You know, and the Lord He sent his, He's waking up His men right now. You know, to uh, gather back, to gather the uh, the nation of Israel, he's calling out to his uh, his uh, lost sheep through the prophets. Okay, he says, and as ye go, preach, saying, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And basically, you know, right now in this day and time, that's what we're doing. We out here in the highways and the byways, and we're preaching, we're prophesying, we're telling our people, you know, who they are, and we're telling them what's coming, you know, to this place, man, to this world. You know, what's, what, what's to come, you know, so it's high time to wake up out of sleep and repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And if you and if they don't re, and if you don't repent, the Lord is going to destroy you with nuclear thermal fire. You know, that's the whole point. Let me go to uh, the book of uh, John and I'm just going to read down John 10, chapter 10. This is John chapter 10. He says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that entered not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same is as a thief and a robber. That's basically talking about, you know, uh, false prophets, you know what I'm saying, uh, who uh, wasn't called by the Lord coming in some kind of other way. You know, out here in the highways and the byways, you got uh, false uh, 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 prophets who are Israelites also. And you got um, these uh, pastors in these churches, you know, they try to come in some other kind of way. The Lord has said they are the same as a thief and a robber. He says, but he that entered in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. And that's talking about our Lord, Yahweh Shai. To him the porter open and the sheep hear of his voice. And he called of his own sheep by name and leadeth them out. Right. So basically, you know, it's going to go into it. I'm just going to read it. He says, and when he put it forth his own sheep, he go up before them and the sheep follow him for they know his voice. And that's the point. See, the sheep, they know the voice of the Lord, man. No, that's why the Lord got us out here, man. Because what the Lord is doing, he's gathering up the lost sheep. He's gathering up all the all sheep you know, out, of, out of the 12 tribes of Israel. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. You know, that's why he got us out here. Through us, he's calling out to you to wake up. He says, and a stranger they will not follow, but will flee from them, for they know not the voice of strangers. That's talking about other philosophies and doctrines, even if you are already in them. You know, like, you know, because our people, before we knew who we were, we was in the churches. Some of us was Muslims. Some of us was into other things. Some of us was just being niggas, you know. 
but the whole point is, you know, uh, a stranger, they will not follow, you know, they're not going to uh, stay in that. They're going to wake up and they're going to come out of that and they're going to follow uh, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. He said, uh, he said, this parable spake Yahweh Shai unto them, but they understood not what things they, they were, which he spake unto them. Then said Yahweh Shai unto them again, verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. Right, you know, like 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 today, man. When, uh, uh, when you hear this truth, man, and then you hear, you know, uh, these other philosophies and stuff, man, you'd be like, "What the hell?" You know, that's some that's some madness, man. Straight madness, what they preaching in these churches today, man. You know. Uh, and, and, and these Muslims, man, and these other philosophies, this this crazy madness, man. You know, the true men of the Lord ain't going to hear that, man. You know, and, and if they are already in that, they're going to come up out of that trance. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, I've been in some bullshit. Excuse my French. And uh, they're going to be like, man, and they're going to come in and they're going to start following the Lord, man. They're going to uh, um, follow, uh, do, uh, uh, come into the truth, man. He says, and all that ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. I am the door by me. If any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. Right, man. Because he came in the door, humble himself, man. And, um, you know, uh, uh, he going to find pasture, man. He says, uh, Slocky, he said, the thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I, Slocky, I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. See, and that's you know, technically going into talking about Esau, the so-called white man, because that's what he that's what he's done. That's all he do. He come to steal and to come to kill and destroy, man. You know, he, he's our people are destroyed through this devil, man, through his rulership on this planet Earth, man. You know, he destroyed the air we breathe, man. He destroyed the food. He destroyed uh, the water we drink. You know, he uh, uh, he set snares in our communities, gangs, guns and drugs and etc. Man, set our women against us. You know, he's killing our children every single day, man. You know, this devil don't want you to know who you are, man. So he's going to keep on spewing out these false philosophies and have these false prophets come up against the true men of the Lord, man. He even got uh, 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 false prophets that's saying that they Israelites, man. They up on, they on, uh, uh, they getting paid off, man, to keep you distracted, man, from, from, from what the truth is, man. But you know what? It doesn't even matter, you know? You know, and we know why this devil is doing that, man, according to the, Revel uh, the book of Revelations 12 and 12. Because he know that he got a short time left. You know, so he, in his own simple, dumb mind, he's thinking that, you know, he going to keep the children of Israel sinning. You know what I'm saying? So he can keep the rulership. So he can stay in power of this wicked, and, and, uh, so he can stay in power of this earth, man. But that's not going to happen, man. Because what he don't know is the Lord got something, what you call, uh, they are called the elect. The elect men who's going to wake up about it is sleep that they in man and they gonna come in man and serve the lord man and do the work of the lord man that's the whole bottom line man he you can't you can't deceive the elect man the scriptures say so man you're not gonna you're not gonna deceive the elect man they're gonna wake up out of this man and they're gonna they're gonna resist you with the power and spirit of your how about shim man and they're gonna go out here and do the work man he said the thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth, giveth his life for the sheep. But he that is an hireling and, and, and not the shepherd whose own the sheep are not see if the wolf coming and leaveth the sheep and fleeth, and the wolf catches them and scattereth the sheep. The hireling fleeth because he is an hireling, 
and care of not for the sheep. Right, man. You know, these false prophets out here, man, they don't care about the uh the uh the sheep because they set up to be uh uh hired uh to teach you false philosophies. They set up to teach you the wrong way. They they set up to keep you going the wrong way, man, away from the Lord. He says, I am the good shepherd and know my sheep and and slack it and am known of mine. Right. Because what did he say? My sheep hear my voice. You know, they're going to follow the, the good news, the, the, uh, the truth, man. He says, as the father know of me, even so know I the father and I lay down my life for the sheep who are the sheep the sheep are the 12 tribes of israel so-called negroes latinos native american indians man that's been scattered in the four corners of this earth man he says and slakia and other sheep i have which are not of this fold them also i must bring and they shall hear my voice and there shall be one fold and one shepherd. And that's what you got going on right now, man. A lot of the uh, uh, northern kingdom. He's talking about the northern kingdom. So-called uh, Latinos and Native American Indians, man. You know, a lot of them are waking up to the fact that they're Israelites, man. We, it's new camps popping up all the time now. Now it's a new one down in Peru. You know, the, uh, the truth is circulating throughout this four corners of the earth, man. From the brothers, you know, uh, starting with the uh, apostles on down, man, uh, going out here in the highways and byways doing this work, man, and doing these videos. That's why it's important to do this work, man, and do these videos, man. The more and more we out here doing these videos, man, uh, 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 our people going to wake up, man, and we're going to get the hell up out of here, man. You know, and all the rest of these stupid ass people, man, that don't believe that that's Israelites, you know, they're going to get destroyed, man. They're going to get destroyed by nuclear thermal fire, man, for listening to these false philosophies. But it's all good. The Lord ain't wasn't dealing with them anyway, man. You know? He says, therefore, do with my father love me because I lay down my life that I might take it again. And he, no man taketh it from me, but I lay it down of myself. I have power to lay it down and I have power to take it again. This commandment have I received of my father. I'm going to jump down to uh, 25. Yahweh Shai answered them, I told you and ye believe not the works that I do in my father's name. They bear witness of me. But ye believe not because ye are not of my sheep. As I said unto you, right. See, because all Israel is not Israel, man. Two thirds of our people, man, they're going to get destroyed, man. They're going to get destroyed by nuclear thermal fire. I said again, man, you know, because you're not of the flock of the Lord, man. You're not of the, you're not of his uh, uh, sheep, man. The Lord has closed your eyes. He has blinded you people, man, from this truth, man. You know, you're going to keep on being in darkness, man. You're going to keep on believing the false philosophies of Esau, man. You're going to stay in that darkness, man, until, until the Lord come, man. Because you people are wicked as hell, man. The Lord got his hand out and you reject it. The Lord going to reject you, man. You're going to get rejected in that day of the Lord. He says, but ye believe not because ye are not of my sheep. As I say unto you, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life. And they shall never perish. Neither any man pluck them out of my hand. Khan. man. You know, ain't no false philosophies going to uh, um, um, make the men of the Lord stop serving the Lord, man. Ain't no false philosophies going to keep them from, uh, that's going to steer them the wrong way. You know, RFID chip, man. The RFID chip ain't going to... Um, Stop the men of the Lord from serving the most high, man. They're going to be faithful unto death, man. He said, my father, which gave them me is greater than all. And, and no man is able to pluck them out of my father's hand. The most high selected these men, these men, man. He put a spirit on them, man. 
His spirit, man. His Holy Spirit, man. You ain't going to be able to pluck these men out of the hands of the Most High. That's the beautiful thing about this, man. Lord willing, we are those men. I am my father are one. So basically, man, you know, that was the point. And with that, I want to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and Rule Well. Peace and salutations to all you true men of the Lord out there that's pushing this truth, laboring. Um, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, uh, Baraka Thumb, Bahashem Rakah Kadash. Shalom.